Oh, hello everyone, here with another LEGO Star Wars Summer 2024 review, and this one's on uh, the Dark Falcon of Rebuild the Galaxy, of course. <coughs> so on the front of the box here, we would have uh, the Dark Falcon in action above what's probably Tatooine. Yeah, ta it is Tatooine. It has the LEGO Star Wars logos, and... Same border that's in the same style since 2022, but also with a multicolored, yeah, multicolored uh, strip down below to signify rebuild the galaxy and the logo for that, of course. And recommended ages is 10 and up. So number five or seven five three eight nine has 1,579 pieces. And then down below the mini fig selection and there. On the back side of it, see the falcon in a rested position and a little battle going on between the figs and all the features of it, and a couple of little and also a couple of little signature pics of it. But yeah, and logos again, and and that is it with the box. And now to the manual uh, with odd uh, CDI rendering like all manuals tend or most manuals tend to be nowadays. And then the, the transition from plastic bags to paper bags and for the builder app. And then on the back side, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set, of course. Which three pages. And then advertisement for both the, this set and the other Rebuild the Galaxy sets, which I have previously reviewed, of course, so go check them on my channel. And then the last building steps, of course. So now, on to the figs. That first up is Darth Dev, who, which does have a, who has quite good torso print and leg printing, and also quite like the uh, hair piece, which kind of similar to some of the which can definitely be used on some other Harry Potter figs and such. Then the face printing, which does have a evil look to it, but well, works for that. And of course, wielding a red lightsaber, and obviously, and also one armor, which does side arm printing. Kind of feels like the Winter Soldier in Marvel, but I'm uh, not sure about that, but whatever. And of course, does have the socked cloth material on the cake piece. Same with the with two other figs in this set then. But aside for that, a nice quite good fig for that. And next to which is Beach Luke, which does have some kind of big Lebowski kind of feel and such. Oh whoops. And of course holding a carton of blue mill. Okay. And again, holding carton of blue milk, sort of like the recent uh, uh, mustache Luke milk mustache Luke poly bag. But however, the uh, torso printing that's supposed to be like a unbuttoned shirt, to which does have some quite neat prints onto it for that, but especially on the back side of it. But however, the leg printing quite good for how it is, which you can definitely use on some custom figs if you wanted. But yeah. And then next to which is a Dark Bounty Hunter a C-3PO, which the torso print and leg printing quite similar to some previous 3PO's, although it would have been nice if one leg was like dual molded with silver, like the one that came in the uh, billable 3PO and UCS land speeder for that, but maybe that would have been a little too much for this fig. And of course has side arm printings like other recent 3PO's and 
also has a black arm piece, although kind of feels almost like the uh, red arm version that was put out as a poly bag for episode 7 uh, of the sequel trilogy, of course. And also the headpiece, also same as previous 3PO's, but with the eyes printed in red for that, kind of like we saw in episode 9 of the sequel trilogy, but, but of course definitely workable and usable for a mock of that if you wanted, but yeah. And then next to it is the uh, Jedi Vader, or Light Side Vader, but however, all the printings of which quite similar to most Darth Vader figs, but now in white, and also top parts in silver, also like other ones, and of course wielding a blue lightsaber, of course, but also, and of course have the helmet piece of which, which both pieces, same as the ones that came on most Vaders since 2015, but now in white for that. But unlike how in most comics and other figures of, of Light Vader, that the eyepieces should have some silver uh, print to that. Not sure why they didn't do that for this, but whatever. And then as for the face printing underneath the witch, is most likely that of old Anakin. Yeah, old Anakin for that, which is seen at the very end of the original cut of Return of the Jedi, of course. And hopefully we can get that as a fig in the future, but yeah. And if that ever happens, I expect this face print to be on that one, but yeah. And then last to it, next to it is one fig that I and many have been looking forward to for a long time since episode 9, that is, is Dark Side Ray for that. Well, as for the torso printing, quite close to how it is in that one, in that film, and but not at all any uh, leg printing, which would have been nice if there was that. And then the hood piece, which also the same as from that time of 2019. And, but the face printing, kind of similar to the previous rays, but also with the uh, Sith eyes, but not at all any, any pupil effect. And then like uh, Dark Side Anakin for, from the episode 3 sets, of course. And then as for her double blade lightsaber, which built quite uniquely, like, where it's two different hilts, but together on a binocular piece, although kind of similar, although just like we had with the ninjoids in Ninjago, of course, but although what would have been better is if it had an actual piece that can, like, flick and all, but maybe that would have been a little too much to work around, but, but aside from that, still quite good how it is, and of course has the, the soft material cape for that. <clears throat> and then last of which is a Dark Jar Jar, or Dark Jar Jar, of course. In which, same problem as Dark Ray did, is a lack of leg printing, but at least still kind of workable for that. But the torso printing, which you can definitely use on some custom figs if you wanted for that. Then the headpiece of which, just the same as previous uh, Jar Jars. But now with a little darker tone instead of a lightish tone for some of the printing for that. But although for the eyes of which are kind of you know, like a little misleading, like little uh, markings underneath the witch. There's very little bit of markings underneath or lining underneath the witch. And all the women better is if the eyes had were completely red and all, which like he does in the trailer for Rebuild the Galaxy. Well, or maybe that would be a little too hard to get that printed onto him, but whatever. But also is has two different kind of things, uh, accessories to him. One being you know, this electro orb from Episode One there, and also a double-bladed lightsaber, of course. And then on to the back sides of all the things. Oh, whoops. And there's very little bit of uh, torso printing or back face printings for each, some of them. And also back torso printings for each of them. Although dark rays of which kind of misleading, like it should have some zigzag in the mouth for the pointed teeth, but whatever. 
But however, so I'm going to back face printings for both of the other two, which, but for Dark Side Luke's of which is, does have a beach version of his and Uncle Owen Aparoop's uh, homestead on there. Or maybe it's an igloo or whatever. But however, that's still nice to see there. And as for this mini fig selection as a whole of which, which nice to see some well desirable figs, mostly with uh, Dark th dark Ray and Jedi Vader for that. And also uh, Bounty Hunter 3PO. And of course, which are definitely worth pulling some uh, display mocks if you wanted. And also, but especially Dark Ray, who we have kind of wanted since release of episode 9, but luckily nice to have here, but yeah. <clears throat> and now on to the set itself, the Dark Falcon, of course. Which, obviously, from first glance, looks to be just the episode 9 one from 2019, but recolored into pure black, dark red, and darkish gray for that, with a little light gray into it. So kind of large color swap for that. And of course, this was the first time of a Millennium Falcon not based off a movie, of course. Although, within about 2018 for Solo, did have the white and blue Kessel Run version, and a little picture of this. Have this and that set uh, right up there in the car, like next to each other, and be like Spy vs. Spy, but like with Star Wars. But yeah, that's a bit. But that's just me. Yeah. So, like, first of which is for this, for the canopy cockpit area, just the same as of most Millennium Falcon sets, but instead of in trans clear and gray prints on it, it's translucent red and also with some black prints to it, which is kind of neat to see that. And, and also like the other ones in which you can pop right off of it and the pieces around it kind of fit in around that. And this little, and that's for the little cockpit area, which you can fit two uh, different figs onto, of course. And of course, enough room to fit both of those figs onto, and you can get this around them, and it sticks on very well for that. But then, as for this design, which and of course this part, which almost like the one that was used on the uh, 2015 Falcon, of course. But then, as for this part of it, or I mean this kind of part, which does have some similar looks to most Falcons. <coughs> and then, unlike with middle side, the paint roller brush pieces used as greebling. Then as for these front area, which like these front parts of which, which like the last few versions, like the 2015 and 2019 ones, where you can like stick your finger down there and launch the spring oil launchers out of it. And obviously like that. And then this one side of which, which has, still has the uh, radar dish piece well. And like usually on other ones, which it's just as a radar dish piece, but on this one of which is looks almost like the cannon of the Death Star just powering up with the green studs on there for that. And also it's on a mixel ball joint and of course can swivel up and down for that. And then also as for this little turret area which does have ski pole ski pole pole pieces then just swivel all around it like so and also is on a mixel ball joint as well. And then this back side of which, which does have those, uh, six different vent pieces but in large sizing for that and also a couple more paint roller pieces again as greebling and also this back engine part of which 
I would also like the last few versions of the Millennium Falcon, but instead of being in trans blue, it is all trans red for that obviously fitting to the dark side look to it. But then underneath the witch is the same torrent as the top part of it and also these few landing gear kind of bits to it. And and does make it put about an inch or two off the ground. And let me get and as for the other side of which is does have a little boarding ramp right here, which kinda hard to access at but as of now, we'll see the features of it. But again, with this top uh, hat, top part of it, where it's slide open, then there's this little extra bit to like sit two things onto it. But although the little controller kind of parts of it is just don't swivel in and out like the other versions, quite kind of hard and misleading. But although I think they should have done so. Large hollow space in there and can slide in like so. But then, as for the, and now to access it, which is uh, which just also like the 2019 version, where instead of like a few separate, three separate panels on each side, instead it's one big solid one for that. So, and also this part that's been on both of that and the 2015-18 versions where like pivots right forward also like that. And then the Zelda 4 which also like that version like the 2019 version. And this backside which also same since the two which same feet bit that's been on all the versions since 2004. That and also forgot to mention is on this uh, area here quite big large gap to get in most likely for it to have better access around there but yeah then here's most of the interior spot which a lot different than most of them most millennium falcons it's like you have this little uh, seat kind of area which has Kind of this throne kind of part that you can pull out and then have by itself a witch. And can kind of slide in and out easily, or a little easily. And then also this one side of it has, it does have this large panel kind of piece on there. Or those large stickers for that and then couple of cheese slopes as well. And then this one side of which which does have a clip piece that holds an extra spring load launcher missile in there and then also two little bed like areas which usually should be like little couch kind of areas that hold the hollow chest kind of uh, table onto there and luckily it's enough space to fit a fig two figs onto. And then this one area here is kind of a gaming setup area which has this little tile piece which is supposed to be like a flat screen TV and also notice where it's a video game but with three of the Dedrick monsters which in most of the movies are seen as holograms for that but now seen as a game. I'm sure it's probably to do with the Lego style humor in the this series. And also a mini table with a controller onto it, kind of interesting. And also a, a little tile piece with a sticker on it, most likely to be a game case for it. And this little mini build, which some say might be a, a PS5 or whatever, but maybe it's just something made up for the Rebuild the Galaxy mini series or whatever. And then this engine part of which kind of similar, almost like, oh, which quite different than other versions of the Millennium Falcon, but however, this. A large tile or rounded tile here with a sticker on it. Also, way different. Well, not sure what it's about, but whatever. And also, you get this little jail cell kind of area, which kind of feel reminds me of the one on the Justifier from the Bad Batch. But and also like that one can imprison someone into it, where you can like pull this forward and. 
set Jedi Vader on it, which in instructions and on the box cover kind of shows. You can put him on like in like so. Like that. And then lastly, which is this little crate with a few electro orbs from episode one in there. And then a little crate that opens up and there's an extra one of it. Although this kind of you know, reminds me a bit of the uh, 2018 Kessel Run version, but in that case it was supposed to be Coaxium, which was a big point of the solo movie. Same thing. But at least it's still just electro orbs, of course. And then also in this area, like on the trap door piece here, where you can like push down on it, and it's a boarding ramp. Which, if you look at down below, although still would be nice if it had that uh, pull out to make the boarding ramp work kind of feature, like the 2004 version kind of did. But also a nice touch to it is a couple extra studs sticking out to it to stick to the stud anti-studs underneath, of course. And as for the rest of which, quite good amount of interior space to it. And then as for closing up a witch, nice and smooth again. And now to closing it up. Now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is a quite cool set for how it is. Like, do you get where it's like the Millennium Falcon, but do you get a lot of black pieces, which definitely work both in mocking if you wanted, but and also and also as for the price of which, like ten dollars, like less than the. A previous 2019 one of which, although it kind of feels like buying the same thing but with a different minifig selection and different color of course. But at least get a whole bunch of new unique minifigs like Jedi Vader and Dark Ray of course. You know this minifig selection may be what some call just a meme of minifigs but, but luckily at least some of which are kind of workable with like the sequel trilogy and such. But yeah, but as with Darth Jar Jar and uh, some of the and Bounty Hunter Three PO, well, especially Bounty Hunter Three PO, quite workable with the sequel trilogy for that if you use the headpiece elsewhere. But yeah, but then as for and again for the price point, I say quite good for how it is. Like to get a lot of like black pieces, definitely for mocking and. Again, for and also some and also a trans red cockpit piece, also kind of workable, but yeah, or a little trans red inside as well. And but then, as for how it is in the rebuild the galaxy uh, series, of which, uh, which I would say probably be a, a flagship to that, like the regular Millennium Falcon is for this the Skywalker saga and such, but yeah. There's, well, although the design, which may be similar to the uh, 2019 Episode 9 Falcon of Witch, but at least uh, some bits are quite different, but yeah. Like, obviously, the front paneling kind of parts may be different, but yeah. But how the set as is of Witch, still quite, it's just really neat how it is, but yeah. And so now, if you're looking to, if you're looking forward to rebuild the galaxy, which definitely pick up this set. And if you are looking to get a unique, different color Millennium Falcon for your collection, then definitely pick it up. But yeah, and that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. And also, if you want a unique bunch of mini figs of which, then also definitely pick this up. But yeah, and that's it. And thanks for watching.